I'm loving you, you're loving me, I'm loving you, and you love me. <laughs> this is so stupid. No, it's not. This is nice. I'm loving you, and you're loving me, I'm loving you, and you love me. See, John's cheering me up right now with this little dance we're doing. I was being maudlin about not being able to walk <laughs> well she did a really good workout this morning and she she used all of her limbs and now she's suffering a bit of pain so i said yes john that we're going to decorate the altar which christopher helped us to do with our fancy sexy lads right yeah he had to do the placement I was originally going to try to do it with my walker and do the lights over there. And I said, John, I feel like I could easily, that could be a disaster. Everything on the walker, I'll just, you know, drop things and it'll be bad. And yeah, that was a little tall order. But look how great it looks. Yeah, it does. It really does. And it's great on camera, too, from what I can tell, right? Yeah. So then... I was just feeling kind of sorry for myself. Mm -hmm. So John started singing, God, I'm loving you, you're loving me, I'm loving you, and you... What, 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 what's going on in this corner here? <clears throat> Christopher's ripping up papers. Oh. Now, do you see do you see what I'm talking about? Yes. No, what? I could milk powder. Oh, okay. Okay, you can leave that on the tray. We have to make a... Uh, an oat thing with that, yeah. Little paper crinkling adds texture to your films. Yeah, he ha, he has a real money. knack for doing that, doesn't he? He does. A film, like a real film, you would make sure. Okay, get some. I'm paper loving you. Noise. You know what, Christopher? In we're we're you loving you. Different. You're that's loving true. us. Yeah. We're loving you, and you love us. Yeah, that's important too. That's all. Hey, look at Lena's legs. Stop it. Milk yeah, milk on the on the tray, we have to make a concoction out of that with oats and fibers. John's a mad scientist. He makes all kinds of crazy. We got this too. Oh, great! We got new stickers. We're gonna see art projects. Everything's good. I'm loving you. You're loving me. I'm loving you, and you love me. <laughs> loving you. You're loving me. I'm loving you, and you love me. Da 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 da. -da. <laughs> the boys love you too. Yes, hi boys. Mm. Don't be down, Lino. It's a Sunday, right? Anyway, you did a great thing today. You posted on Father John Misty, right? Oh, let's talk about Father John Misty, right? First of all, no, no, Father John, don't get, all right, uh, we'll get to Bowie, all right, um, two great things, discoveries for me this week was Father John Misty, who I know has been around for a while, but I haven't listened to any of his stuff really, and he really is like a prophet, mm -hmm. Father John Misty is a prophet, his name is Josh Tillman, but his stage name is Father John Misty, John guided me to him, he's been trying to get me he trying to get me to listen to Father John Misty for over a year, and I have avoided it. Not it's been like I don't know. I couldn't concentrate on it. So, uh, uh, how did you? Uh, what was your take? You said Father John Misty is a humanized angel. He is an angel in humanized form. He is a prophet. He is a perfect clear channel. Who is a musical? theatrical genius right okay yes that is true mm -hmm. amazing lyricist uh he's not really human mm -hmm. he's far off the mark looks human seems human he's a angelic presence and a very sardonic very sarcastic angel at that mm. because he really uh, he gets very tender-hearted about the, the state of affairs down here on the earth, as you do, Lena, as did I. Uh, as do all we from the home team. So, yeah, Father John Missy, uh, thank you, John. Yep. 
He is, please check him out. He is, if you haven't already, and realize that he is a prophet and a seer and a, not just a proclaimer, but he is a prophesizer and he can see into the future. He is a powerful, angelic, musical presence on the scene right now. Um, it says a lot about the state of the world in general, that somebody like him is around now making this kind of really beautiful ethereal uh accessible music i i it gives you hope yeah it should give more people hope but um today your posts about him are going to reach quite a few people that otherwise haven't given him the time of day they've kind of uh a lot of people that see the name like kind of like you did lena and said who is this yo-yo calling himself father john uh, you know, and, and, and the name is completely uh, sarcastic. He, he, if he can laugh at himself because he really honestly can't believe the state of this world that he has been dumped into as a prophet. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how you felt, I, I think. Yeah. But he, he has more, even more self-realization than I did. I think probably. He's a little bit more, his evolution has, uh, the ascension has affected him profoundly. Um, but yeah, same type. I see eye to eye with him very much so. I also noticed that he covers a lot of your songs. Happiness is a warm gun. Um, I saw he covered a few of your songs. Yeah. Also saw that he covered some Elton John, Tiny Dancer. He covered some Leonard Cohen. He's covering some key home team players, right, and doing a great job at it. So, yeah, Father John Misty. Oh, we're running low on battery. Well, let's just say what uh, the other thing is. Bowie's new box set. Yes, Bowie, his camp is still releasing material dating back to 2000 uh, sessions that he did um, with Earl Slick and his... Uh, that whole band from that era. And it is called toy, uh, short for toy box. And it is a bunch of previously unreleased takes on some great, great songs. Also very prophetic in nature. Um, ringing true with the twin flame mission very much. So a lot of those lyrics, especially, uh, the, Baby, uh, baby loves that way. I know that song is, uh, that's really, John was like, Lena, that's you and me. Yeah. I saw that too. Um, Liza Jane. Yeah. Liza Jane. Uh, there's just like some great music out now that needs to be explored. So, but we're just giving you two of them. Father John Misty, um, God's favorite customer, funny girl, and uh pure comedy mm -hmm. check out those and then go from there uh and david bowie's box set uh three cd box set toy mm -hmm. what do you think john i think you did a bang up job just now with all that yeah so so that's good stuff and um that takes your mind off of any kind of crap that, that that's uh that's going on so Sort of, I don't know. So what do we have going tonight, guys? <sighs> Sunday, day of rest. You've put in a full day already, and it's just time to go chill. So, well, I just wanted to say one last time. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. I'm loving you. You're loving me. I am loving you, and you are loving me. I'm loving you, and you are loving me. I am loving you, and you love me. I'm loving you, and you are loving me. I'm loving you, and you are loving me. I'm loving you. You're loving me. I am loving you, and you are loving me. Also, one thing. Uh, yeah, thanks, John. Yeah. Uh, the Today's tarot card that we drew earlier today was the Seven of Pentacles, which stands for 
having it all and it's getting better all the time right and number seven is god's number today is sunday uh 27 which adds up to a nine of february mm -hmm. and uh tomorrow is going to be the 28th which will be a number 18 day two two eight two oh two two so get ready for some crazy watching us you know some crazy mojo going to be hitting us tomorrow for our number 18 day and i think that's it right john yeah all right so we're gonna get going Chris, thanks for joining us this evening. You've been a quiet bystander. Glad to have you, though. And uh, lots of love. Bye.